Riley Chase here with Hostify. And let's talk about the easiest way to upgrade a unified device uh, firmware. Um, now, there's a bunch of different ways to up, update the firmware. There's an article here, and um, you know, you know, what I consider the hard way is, uh, you know, if doing the offline method where you have to download a file and then copy it to the device and then run the command to upgrade it. Um, there's an easier way that works um, the majority of the time uh, for most situations. And I'm gonna show you that today, um, just a single command upgrade and then a link to the uh, firmware file. And so um, what I've got right now is a uh, brand new Unify AP AC Pro and um, I've actually intentionally downgraded the firmware, but um, sometimes you'll you'll get a device from the warehouse that has really old firmware. And one of the first things you're gonna wanna do if you're having any problems um, adopting it to your controller is try upgrading the firmware. So um, let's open up PuTTY. We're gonna do this via SSH and we're gonna log into the device. So to find the IP address, you might need to um, do an IP scan or check your router leases or something like that. Um, I already know the IP address of this device. We're gonna log in, the default username is UBNT, the default password is UBNT. And um, <clears throat> when you do the info command, you can see what version the, the device is on. So we can see this U, This is a UAP AC Pro Gen 2, and the firmware version it's on is 3.7.58.6385. And you can see, um, you know, I've tried to set inform it, it's giving an error message. And so um, the first thing I wanna do is upgrade the firmware on it. And what you wanna do is search for UAP AC Pro Gen 2 firmware download, or um, you know, obviously replace that with whether it's a switch or a USG or what, just replace the uh, model with that and then search for firmware, firmware download. It'll take you to uh, make sure you're on ui.com and um, make sure you find the right device model here. So we can see uh, Unify AC Pro. And the latest firmware for the Unify AC Pro is uh, 4.0.8.0. And that's the one we want to download. Now we don't actually have to download the file. Click I accept here. And we can actually just copy the URL. We don't have to download the file itself. And we're already logged in to PuTTY. And the command is upgrade space and then a link to the firmware. And what I always do, because sometimes, um, you know, you might want to just do this if only if you have a problem with it, but um, sometimes there's a problem with using HTTPS because the firmware on the device might be so old that it, it, it doesn't even have the proper, um, you know, SSL library or whatever. So you might run into an error if you use HTTPS. So if you do have a problem, you might want to switch that to HTTP. Um, go ahead and hit enter and it's going to download that firmware file and go ahead and upgrade the, uh, device's firmware. And then from there you should be able to, uh, you know, you should be able to try uh, informing it again. And um, some of these older versions, they can't connect to the latest version of the controller. So you have to upgrade the firmware um, before you're able to do that. Um, and usually uh, from my experience, I've seen, you know, with most devices, you can jump right from the a really old version of the firmware straight to a new version. But occasionally you might be on some version that's not taking a firmware update properly and you might have to step it. So you might have to go, you know, up one version at a time um, if you're having problems going straight from the oldest version to the newest version, you might have to start stepping up one at a time. But, um, you know, luckily I haven't seen that very often. So, um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. It will help us, um, you know, continue to grow our channel. Thanks.